campaign to designate part of San Diego's Encanto neighborhood to honor the contributions of black people is gaining steam. Yeah, activists have been pushing the city to get an official designation since last fall. CBS 8's LaMonica Peters talks to the people spearheading the campaign and to the city council member who supports the idea. Encanto was a thriving hub for African Americans in San Diego for many years. Now some in the community want to ensure that the art and culture they created here isn't forgotten. Gentrification is happening in a major way. A lot of people is, are moving out, but the culture is staying because the art is still there. As the neighborhood continues to grow and change, it's the art and culture of Encanto that have remained the same. For decades, it was home for many African-American families in Southeast San Diego. Today, 17% of the neighborhood's residents identify as black. Back in the early 1900s, 1940s, 50s, many black families settled in the Encanto area for the first time. A lot of first time homeowners and first time business owners. And so this area has a great history for us in the community. Imperial Barbershop has been a part of the Encanto community since 2006. Also known as the most conscious barbershop, owner Tau Baraka says the shop pays homage to those who've advocated for the people who live there. The barbershop itself is an arts piece, if you see. I mean, these are a lot of the uh, people that do work in our community. These are all activists that I selected to put up here. As an artist and president of the Southeast Art Team, Kim Phillips P says she supports designating nearly a mile of Imperial Avenue from 61st to 68th Streets as the Canto Arts District. Right now, San Diego has two state designated cultural areas, Balboa Park and Barrio Logan. Last year, the city also designated a Pan-Asian Cultural Business Innovation District in Kearney Mesa. What we hope is that the city will partner with us and uh, provide funding, you know, so that we can build the area up to be just like other cultural districts that you see. If the designation is granted, Phillips P says the area can receive funding to improve storefronts, enhance landscaping, support small black-owned businesses, and added signage. Ultimately, the goal is to give the black community a sense of identity in San Diego. When we are here in San Diego, when tourists come to San Diego, when our children are growing up here, we want something to be able to call home and be familiar with. Encanto is represented by San Diego City Council member Monica Montgomery Stepp, who said, the black community has contributed significantly throughout San Diego's history, and I believe these contributions deserve recognition and celebration. I strongly support the Black Arts and Culture District because it highlights those contributions and I have included the funding of this district in my budget priorities for fiscal year 22-23. I look forward to continuing the work with the community partners on this project to ensure this vision comes to fruition. San Diego native and CEO of Urban Warriors, Dehan Blevin, says the Encanto Arts District will become more than a tourist attraction but also serve as a catalyst for personal growth in the community. The goal of this is to use arts, culture, and entertainment to create a captive audience that can be educated on health, nutrition, fitness, mental health, and overall wellness, raising the quality of life. Blevin says the community used to hold a festival every summer and bands like Lakeside got their start playing in the neighborhood. He says the city's designation will help them get back to that and they can create a space for the next generation. LaMonica Peters, CBS 8.